Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a hot dog food truck for all of your city building needs. If you enjoy this tutorial and you're new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. But without any further ado, let's get started. So just before we start building everybody, here are all of the materials that we will need to make our hot dog van. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make the hot dog van is a five by nine block area as represented by the white concrete grid that you can see on the ground. Feel free to make that grid in your world if you do feel as though it may help you out. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to. Make sure you got that stuff. Make sure you got enough room to make it. Make sure you're ready and once you are, we can begin. Step one, food truck friends. Come all the way to the front right hand corner of your grid. If you've made it, count inwards by one. This is where we're going to start things off. We actually want to start off a little bit weird. We want to have a floating stone slab hovering just half a row off the ground like that. We then want to place a black concrete left of it, four more slabs, one, two, three, four, and then a black concrete and another smooth stone slab. We then want to add two rows of smooth stone slabs extending across the entire width of the frame and then we want to copy the opposite side of the build. We want to copy the four wheel positions like this. We're then going to place buttons inside of the black concrete wheels as these are the locking nuts for the wheels and it just makes it look a little bit better. We want to place two blast furnaces on the two front middle blocks of the vehicle. Alternate to this, you can actually place some red concrete. Uh, we'll try both of them a little bit later. Um, but if you do place the furnaces, I'm going to place some ladders to make it look like a grill. Not the kind that you cook on. On the left side of the build, so this is the open part of the truck. It's quite different from the opposite side. We're going to place a yellow concrete next to the furnace. Extend it backwards. Up two. Left one. And I want you to place two red concrete underneath, like this. We're going to take the bottom of this row and we're going to place three, one, two, three, upside down quartz stairs, red concrete on the end, up one, yellow on top, left and down. So we want to have something which will look exactly like this. Once you have that, on the back of the build, all we really have to have is a door. So you can extend the yellow concrete from the top across and down. And the door is going to be on the right side. So you can just kind of like fill this left side in with some red concrete. On this side of the build, we're going to have a similar sort of thing at the front of the build, but not so much the uh, the actual uh, the back of the build. So we're going to place yellow concrete next to the blast furnace, back, up, to and then we're going to extend it all the way across. And then I think what we're going to do is we are going to simply place an entire row of yellow at the bottom. And we're going to leave this block alone because that's where a window is going to go. And we're going to have red concrete everywhere else. It kind of sort of reminds me of a hot dog, or at least sort of, like on its side. So I don't mind that sort of decoration. We, we might even mess about with it later, see if we can place some more windows and stuff. But we'll see. Uh, now that we have done that, though... The next thing we have to do is, above where the front of the vehicle is, here, we want to be able to uh, play some glass, and above the glass is going to be some quartz slabs, just like that. Um, now that we have placed the quartz slabs, I think that we're going to start adding some of the additional details of the vehicle. So I'm going to chuck all these away, and I'm going to grab some black stained glass paint, spruce trap doors, levers, white carpet, string, red carpet, item frames, oak doors, light grey concrete. So, item frames are going to be placed on the open side of the truck and the item frames are going to be in front of the two red parts. A banner is going to be here on the left. I'm going to place spruce trap doors hanging off the upside down quartz stairs. I want to have levers extending from these two yellow concretes extended across where the empty space is. And I want to have alternating white and then this is where things get tricky you got to play some string i want to have connecting the levers together i want to have red carpet white carpet oh, my bad uh, red carpet white carpet like this come on 
Maybe I have to crouch, there we go. Just extend it across the two top of the levers, extended left to right, like that. I also want to extend that one row backwards as well. So we're going to have to place some more string like this, and that's basically just a little canopy, a little hangover for people that like ordering off the truck. When it comes to filling in the top of the truck, uh, it would actually be a good idea, and by the way, we also have to add the window. So the window, or the windshield, is on the front of the truck, of course, and we're also going to fill this little gap in here. And then I can get rid of the glass, and I'm going to have to just get the yellow concrete back. Um, I just have to fill this in with yellow concrete. The rest of the top of the truck will actually be filled in by a, a giant hot dog, so we're all right. And that, <laughs> I, had, I didn't realize that a giant hot dog was included in the building materials, but it kind of is. If only that was an item a hot dog. I'm gonna grab the red concrete back out again. So uh, item frames have to be placed on the front of the truck on the two front corners. These are going to be headlights. Um, they're going to be placed on the back of the truck as well. These are going to be kind of like brake lights and that's why we have the red concrete. We're gonna fill those in like that. Um, we're going to head inside the truck now. And on the inside of the truck, we are going to add some little details. So we're going to add, starting from this corner here, we're going to try and diversify. We're going to place a light gray concrete, two gaps, light gray concrete, and then we're going to have something else. We're going to place a lever here behind the blast furnace here on the left. And we actually want to place, and this is tricky, but actually no, because the top's open. Um, come on. Might have to, okay, I'm just going to have to destroy. So we want to have a lever and uh, kind of like a seat here. So just to give the illusion that this is actually like a drivable vehicle. Um, we have to have a door as well. That's where the oak door comes in. There's a lot to think about with this truck. Um, now I'm just gonna get rid of everything again. Uh, I'm going to grab the gray concrete, glass, flower pot, brewing stand, polish down the side, stairs, trip wire, hook, decorate, uh, detector rail, <laughs> which sounds like a detective. My name's Detective Rail. Um, and we're gonna grab some sort of meat, beef, hot dogs, and uh, bread as well. So in this gap here on the left, I'm gonna place a gray concrete on the left and I can dump the gray concrete and I'm gonna grab the blast furnace. The blast furnace is gonna go on the right. On top of the blast furnace, a detector rail and above that is going to be a polished and inside stairs. On the left here is going, kind of going to be a heating cabinet. So we're going to actually have a glass. I'm gonna dump the glass and the blast furnace and we're gonna grab the red carpet in the item frames. Red carpet goes on top of the glass item frame inside. I'm gonna place an item frame also to the left here too. Um, we, we are going to, you know what, we're going to extend this counter a little bit. We're going to place uh, another, we'll place a grey concrete again for diversity. Grey concrete here, and again, it doesn't really matter because this truck isn't drivable, and we're just going to place a brewing stand and a flower pot just to kind of like, uh, you know, just make it look a bit more interesting. Uh, cooked beef is going to go inside of the, like, the heating area. Bread on the counter. We're going to use the same two items here on the two outside frames as well. That's pretty much the entire inside done, unless you want to add some buttons to some of the, like, cabinets. To say, like, uh, maybe like here, for instance, maybe like here. Not on all of them, just to make it look a little bit more interesting, a little bit more counterish. Um, there's not really too much that we have to do now to the inside of the truck. The inside of the truck is actually somewhat complete. We've got quite a nice bit of decoration all on the outside. Um, now that we have done all of that, ladies and gentlemen, um, I do quickly just have to grab all of the remaining materials um, that you will have seen in the actual item list at the start of the video, but I, my inventory is too big to grab. So you'll probably have to grab them too. So bear with me. Okay, so I just thought about this. You guys will probably have to grab them as well because you also wouldn't have had space in your inventory. So we're just going to be grabbing out the iron block, the birchwood planks, the birchwood stairs, the birchwood slabs, the terracotta, the loom, yellow banner, white dye, and some red dye. Now, uh, you might just have to quickly pause the video just to grab all of those. It wouldn't have been a surprise to you as it will have been in the item list as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to place some blocks of iron in the two front item frames at the front of the vehicle. I think that we're going to make the banner because I don't like doing that very much. Um, we're going to use a loom for the banner. You can also use a crafting table. Uh, we're going to crack open the loom. We're going to put the yellow banner in there with the white dye. We actually just want to have the first thing that is picked for us. So the first thing that is picked is the yellow border, uh, the white border that goes all the way around the outside of the banner. So that's exactly what we want to have. We're going to grab that. We're going to put that back in, but this time with the red dye. And we're going to have a vertical strip of red dye 
ex just like top to bottom in the middle of the banner and that's actually going to somewhat look like a hot dog and you can place that there we go you can place it on the side there and i actually think that's quite a good representation of a hot dog you could even like uh, place uh, the banners kind of like here as well if you if you just wanted to advertise it a little bit um you could even hang them say like off the sides of the vehicle like maybe like here and here just to again just to kind of solidify what uh, what this truck actually is here for if you couldn't figure it out already with what we're going to be making next with this thing um so just behind the carpets that we have on the top of the truck the middle we're going to place a row of birchwood planks that extends from the length of the vehicle like one side to the other just like this and we're going to place upside down birchwood stairs hanging off of each side of the uh, birch planks like this and we want to extend these stairs across by one two and also by one two like this and we're going to join these stairs together using birch planks like so uh, what we are then going to do is we are going to place some uh, terracotta the terracotta is going to basically just sit up and above and it's going to kind of like just uh, just sit literally inside the hot dog bun like this and to shape the bun on both sides we're going to place one two three birch slabs and one two three birch slabs on both sides of the bun like that and then that gives it just gives us a little bit of a better look for the bun so just like this and in doing that, you will have actually completed your hot dog van. I actually think it's, it's a pretty decent looking hot dog van, isn't it? Um, if you want to create some... I think that, yeah, there's nothing you can do about those. If you want to create some uh, light inside the van, what you can actually do, and this, this won't have been part of the actual... Um, item list, um, you can just fill the top of the inside of the hot dog in using some uh, sea lanterns like this, so uh, that's actually a really good way to get some light in, and it does make it look just a little bit better, but ladies and gentlemen, we've actually somewhat completed our hot dog van, there's nothing else that we have to do, uh, That that's it, I hope that you guys have enjoyed making this. So this is what the vehicle should look like once it has been 100% fully completed, this is a nice great addition to your city whether you want to place it just on the street somewhere whether you want to place it in a park outside of a stadium of some sort this has many great uses it's even good just to have it on the streets just kind of like roaming around the hot dog van is here and that's it i do hope you guys have enjoyed this one it was very fun making and designing this uh, if you did enjoy and you're new around here please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button that'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box if you do want to make anything else by me we have been making a lot of city related builds recently then check out the card system description below and top of the comment section we make simple builds like the one that we just did and we make large complex builds like car dealerships and post offices and multi video builds and stuff so you can check all that out you guys don't where to go card system description below top of the comment section thank you so much for watching everybody i love you all very much and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>